Leading Green Investor Review. Can an investor make money here? Stay tuned to find out. Hi, Casey here from Hong Quarters and in today's episode, we will be analysing if Leiden Green is a potential good deal for all you investors out there. Stay tuned till the very end for our subjective analysis and verdict on who is suitable to purchase Leiden Green. Reach out to Home Quarters at 8809-2889 for us to go through and give you an objective review if it is suitable before you purchase any condominium be it old or new. Do remember to hit the subscribe and notification bell to get notified when new video like this that will be coming up. First up, let us do a quick review of the background of the project. I will encourage you to pause this video, open up another tab and watch part 1 if you have not done so. The link is in the description below. Leiden Green is a freehold condominium situated in Poster District 10. 638 units ranging from 1 bedroom to 4 bedrooms and also 4 bedrooms garden villas. Expected key collection date is early 2024. Located at the corner of Prime Holland Road and Ferrer Road, fronting Leiden Heights which it got its name, it is a large size project consisting of 7 tall blocks with full condominium facilities and an interesting treetop walk towards the tennis court. Developed jointly by MCL Land and Yenlock Land, we will discuss about the developer further later in the video. The land is garnered from an unblocked or collective sale from the previous owners of the project that is previously known as Tulip Garden. Asia Radiant, jointly held by Yenlock Land and MCL Land, won the closed door bid for $906.9 million. So we do not know who is the other bidders or how much they have put up. But we do know that the sales price is 20.4% higher than the asking price of $753 million. Our estimated break-even per square feet per plot ratio is $2,500 with a modest 15% margin, it will be $2,875. Let us analyse the growth area near Leiden Green. Being near to transformation taking place at a greater One North area, Leiden Green enjoyed the spillover effect that it brings about when more tenants move into the existing biomedical science, infocom technology and media hub located near NUS and One North Business Park, leading to a rise in tenant pool. Also, there are upcoming condo launches in the future. Other than the one of Eden which enjoyed a great launch, the two parcels of land in Slim Black Rise that recently got sold in a government land sale to Kingsford and EL Development Private Limited enjoyed multiple competitive bids during the tender process. This new launch condo might positively impact Leiden Green Price as a resale condo in the future since the developer launch price is already estimated at over $2,300 per square feet for a 99 years lease or condo. There is also the planned mixed-use centre at Rochester Park, slightly off from Buena Vista that will drive more vibrancy in the region. Being in close proximity to Singapore Botanic Garden, new and having a large site area, this sets it apart from the numerous development, be it new or resale in the region, because larger land plots similar to the likes of Leiden Green is rare, making it attractive for the next buyer to be keen to shortlist to purchase in the future. Leiden Green will also be positively impacted with the transformation of Holland Village with the additional extension called One Holland Village. If you are keen to find out more, do click on the link attached as we have did a video on it previously. That will definitely increase vibrancy in the region and is another reason the next buyer will be keen to shortlist and purchase Leiden Green in the future. Let's talk about the unique selling point of Leiden Green. It has a large side area that allows to accommodate multiple swimming pools, effectively spread out the density of the residents using each facilities, such as the pool. This means that residents or tenants do not need to deal with crowd or wait in line to use the facilities. Also, it has an innovative treetop walk that brings residents to the tennis court, playground and barbecue pavilion. This conjugates the noisier activities to a corner of the project so residents will enjoy peace and quiet when they are at home. The region has benefited with the 2018 en bloc with Olina Lodge, the Wilshire, Hollandia and Astoria, meaning that developers think that the area has much more demand and they bid aggressively for those lands. Leiden Green also boosts numerous prestigious schools nearby such as Nanyang Primary, which is within 1km and Raffles Girls Primary and Newtown Primary within 2km away. This greatly increases the chance of primary school going children entering said popular school. Let's now talk about the developer credential and experience. MCL Land needs no introduction in Singapore. It is a company under Hong Kong's Jardin Medicine Group and has shown strong financial for many years. And being backed by a huge conglomerate, past developments of MCL Land include Hallmark Residences and Palm at 6th Avenue in Up Class area and Lake Grande the estuary, Ripper Bay, that is similar in scale to know that they will do a good job in Leiden Green. 
Yenlo Group, however, is a new entrant in the property scene in Singapore. However, it is a veteran in China. It has also invested in projects in Singapore prior to its pioneer project of Lead and Green, notably in UE Bishak. Yenlot is also listed on SGX. With these two powerhouses coming together, you will be assured on the quality of work when the condo is completed. Leiden Green main competitor in the new segment is the Wilshire and Hill on Holland. There is also another new development nearby called 15 Holland Hill, but the price range is not comparable, so we will not include that in the analysis. The Wilshire launched 6 July 2019 and is on the opposite side of Farrow Road, while Hill on Holland launched 2nd October 2020 and is on the opposite side of Holland Road. For those that are interested to look at what is being offered by Leiden Green, the Wilshire, and also here on the Holland for the 1, 2, 3 and 4 beta, you can pause the video and look at the numbers as the segment comes up. If not, we will link you to the full write-up under our editorial tab at homequarters.com.sg. The link will be in the description below. Do note that here on Holland do not offer 1 bedroom and 4 bedroom units. Based on the data till date, it looks like unit below $2.5 million is really selling well for all 3 projects and the 4 bedroom at the Wilshire is abnormal but we have found that it is because it only has 7 units and the developers sold 5 of them in the period that contribute to a high percentage shown. With prices now above $2.5 million for 3 bedroom at Leiden Green, sales are slowing down. Whereas there are still units in the hill on Holland below $2.5 million at the time of publishing. For the resale segment, the nearest competitor will be Leiden Residence and D Leiden. Though D Leiden is an unfair comparison since it is a 99 years lease condo. Again, for those of you who are keen to look at what is being offered by Leiden Green, Leiden Residences and also D Leiden for the one, two, three and four bedder, you can pause the video and look at the number as the segment comes up. If not, go ahead to our accompanying article in our website, homequarters.com.sg. Leiden Residence is a freehold condominium that is about 6 years old now. It is comparable in per square feet prices, but the unit size is really big, thus leading to a high absolute price. Some of the units in Leiden Residences will be blocked by Leiden Green when it is up because it will be built up 12 storey as well. But you might get to rub shoulder with Secret Lab co-founder Ian Ang if you purchase the unit there. D Leiden is already 10 years after 2010 lease start date. If your aim is to stay in the region at a cheaper price, you can consider D Leiden. It is significantly cheaper, largely due to its 99 years leasehold status. The exit strategy for Leiden Green will be to hold the unit for a mid to long term investment, which will be ideal till the various transformation in the region come to fruition. And this will mean that it is more suitable for someone looking for a longer term stay or home, and even as a longer term stay investment to enjoy the facility that Leiden Green provides. We also know that this area is attractive for children of landed owners who want to stay near to their parents, HDB upgraders who want a chance at a freehold condo for legacy planning and to pass their wealth to their children. Landed downsizer since Leiden Green is freehold and for those who want to send their kids to prestigious school and be near them. So there might be a chance to exit in the medium term too. So that is our subjective view on the Leiden Green. This is Casey from Home Quarters. Reach us to us at 8809-2889 if you want an objective view before you purchase any property in Singapore, be it new or resale. Till the next time, subscribe, like and comment and remember, call Home Quarters and start packing.